hey beauties welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome in today's video we are going to be doing a review of the new chanel spring summer collection yes i have finally got my hands on it so if you'd like to see how it looks what are my thoughts and feelings keep on watching hey beauties as you know janelle has finally decided to drop their collection and as you guys know i am such a huge fan of chanel makeup of course i had to get this regardless like i said i was going to so i got my hands on the eyeshadow palette and i got my hands on the blush i have ordered the balms i literally ordered friday evening so i don't think it's gonna maybe get here till i'm guessing maybe monday tuesday so you're definitely gonna have to stay tuned till i get my hands on those balms before we do get into the eyeshadow and the blush i'm gonna be doing a little bit of reading up just so you guys are fully aware of what we can expect from this summer spring from Chanel. The Spring Summer 22 collection La Posa de Chanel was inspired by the villa that once belonged to Gabrielle Chanel located high on the ridge of Robequin. La Posa, this place, bathed in soft warm sunlight and existing in perfect harmony with a bountiful natural landscape that surrounds it, provided in inspiration to the makeup creation studio for this new collection the chanel came out with two blushes you have peach rose and then you have the one that i have and this is in the shade rush lumiere brun rossi so i picked up the deeper shade you have the eyeshadow palette an eyeshadow palette that features earthy woodsy shades inspired by the mediterranean landscape surrounding the la posa gabrielle chanel's mediterranean villa this is called the Le Force Ombres and it retails for £49. Whew, Chanel is pretty expensive. So this is the packaging. This is how it comes. So the longevity of this is 18 months and it is made in Italy. You know once it's made in Italy, the formula is going to be spectacular. So let's have a look and see. So it did come in the pocket and then that is how it is is looking this looks absolutely stunning so I'm gonna do swatches first so we can like see how this is supposed to look You can't really create much depth with this these colors are more or less gonna look the same when I put them on so I am NOT really thinking I'm gonna be able to see anything spectacular but more than likely I will probably be using these shades as like lid toppers so say I'm going into my Patrick Tarr palette or I'm going in my Pat McGrath palette or like maybe a different Chanel palette I would definitely grab these just to add more of a shimmer effect because these colors although they're stunning they're quite bland to me so this isn't the best and i think the most wearable and inspiring palette i would say but we're just going to give it a go anyway in to my busy art palette i know i really shouldn't but with these colors they're just so sheer it's just i just know it you're just not going to be able to see the difference with the color so I'm going to go into my Visi Art Petit Fours, the chocolate palette, and I'm going to go into the lightest shade, which is this shade. My shade has like crumbled. So I'm literally going to put that shade all over the lid first. It can give us some kind of base, that way we are able to see the colour. Going to go into the deeper shade first.
this shade kind of looks like a peachy shade and I'm literally just gonna put that shade corner here this shimmer on top of the shimmer and just put down this is a really sparkly shade here I'm literally just gonna put that in the inner corner beauties so i have done what i can with this eyeshadow palette we're going to get into the blush now so definitely excited about the blush i did what i could with the eyeshadow so um i will give you guys my final thoughts at the ending a blush with an easily buildable cream powder texture that subtly enhances the complexion available in two shades peach rose and bronze rossi and suitable for all skin tones so the blush retails for 52 pounds whoa their blushes are hella expensive this is how it comes and then we're just going to get straight on into it so again it's made in italy and the longevity of this is 12 months it does come in the lovely pocket so it is limited edition because it has the gold cc logo on it and that is how the blush is looking. Definitely excited about this blush. I did see the other like a peach shade and I was like, hmm, I wonder if I would like that one or this one. I just went on ahead and get this one. So I'm hoping it's not too dark. Okay, beauty so i'm gonna put my lashes on and then i'll be back to give you guys my final thoughts so i am back i have the lashes on and we are done with this look my final thoughts on the chanel quad this is a very beautiful look it's very nice it's giving me more of like a smoky look i don't mind the smoke so it's nice the lid topper shade definitely you can see definitely has sparkle in it and i absolutely love that do i think that this quad is for everybody no this quad is for somebody that likes sheer makeup with a little bit of the smoke most of the colors are sheer they're not very pigmented they are very much of just a simple wash of color hence the reason mediterranean you don't really want to wear too much makeup 
so just be prepared for that this quad ain't going to be for everyone so if you're looking for depth wanting to create different looks it's not going to work more than likely you are definitely going to have to do what i did as you guys saw i did put down the peach shade first just to give me that base i do like to have a base to work with because if i just simply put the shimmer shades on i just don't think that it would look as well as i was able to make it look now but you know what overall I'm happy with this quad. This is a really nice, very glitzy, shimmery. You may just want to get the quad so you can just have the topper shades. Topper shades are absolutely beautiful. Just know that you're probably going to have to go into a different palette just to kind of jazz it up a bit. The blush is absolutely stunning. Is this my favorite blush? No, but I would more or less say that this is probably number two of my Chanel top favorite blushes because I do have a bunch of Chanel blushes but my favorite blush has to be from the spring summer collection last year that really nice peach shade and it had the so you had the peach and you had the highlighter but this is definitely up there this is nice this is definitely going to look absolutely gorgeous on brown skin if you're definitely on the lighter spectrum I don't think that this blush is going to be for you it's just going to be a bit too deep so beauties i am waiting for the bombs to come as soon as the bombs do come you guys i will drop that video as soon as but so far i absolutely love the way that this look came out beauty so do let me know what you think do make sure you like comment subscribe to the channel and i will definitely be seeing you guys again soon bye